You know what I like? Reasonably priced impling jars. You know what I don't like? Unreasonably priced impling jars. I want every single pet in the game. Not only do they look cool, but you can make billions of gold getting them. Like the Bloodhound, which comes from Master Clues. And you know what else comes from Master Clues? Third Age, some of the most expensive items in the game. So wish me luck as I collect some Master Clues. Unfortunately, this week we had to suffer just a little bit and overpay for some impling jars, but I guess that happens every now and then and should be expected. So I suppose I could always catch my own imps, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Sorry to all you different kinds of Iron Man out there. Not for me. Love y'all. But let's take a look at something real quick. Last week, I bought a bunch of magpie imps and was having a good time opening those for my hard clues. At the time, I spent about 18.1 thousand gold each for them, and this past week, however, these guys decided to shoot up to 20 thousand gold each almost, which is way overpriced in my opinion. So what I ended up doing was I went back to nature implings, which is not something I wanted to do, uh, but I wasn't really willing to spend that much on magpies. And just to remind anyone out there, nature imps have a drop rate of 1 in 100 to receive a hard clue, while magpie implings have a rate of 1 in 50. So obviously magpie imps are better, but at a cost of losing just a little bit of money. In total, this week I opened about 5,880 magpie implings which were leftovers from the last video I did which cost me 106,428,000 gold at the price of about 18.1 thousand each along with opening 18,000 nature implings for a price of 70,269,000 gold at a price of about 3,903 each which uh, the nature implings are also a bit overpriced but can't do anything about that because I want more master clues. But speaking of master clues, just a quick reminder, if you're not following me on Twitch, you definitely should because I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, and if you'd like to see me open my 500 master caskets live, go ahead and click on the link down below and follow me there. But in the last video, we opened up about 363 hard caskets and received a total of 26 master clues. For this video, I'll be opening 291 hard clues, and uh, I would have received a lot more caskets this week if Jagex servers worked but you know that's another kind of conversation but if you add up the total amount of magpie implings and nature implant jars I opened I should have received about 297 hard caskets which isn't too bad but I was still short about six hard clues and you know it could have been worse so in total, I spent about 176,697,000 gold on impling jars this week. That is the number that we have to beat in order to hopefully profit or at least break even. But we'll see how it goes. The impling prices this week have been all over the place. So I'm not really looking forward to seeing how much money we lost. And since we opened Nature's and Magpie Amps, we do have a mixture of impling loot to look at. So this is everything that I could fit in my inventory. This is all the loot that we received from the magpie implings and the nature impling jars that we opened this week. Obviously, I couldn't grab all of the stuff, but these are the least expensive uh, seeds and items that I got from nature implings that I'm not expecting too much money on, but I'm still going to sell them. But let's take a look at the loot in our inventory first, and it looks like uh, 132.8 mil, which is not too bad. We might actually make a profit this week once we get over to the loot uh, from the hard caskets themselves so let me go ahead and go to the grand exchange sell all of this loot including the leftover seeds in the bank that we couldn't fill up in our inventory and i will show you guys the aftermath okay so after selling all of the impling loot we actually got back more than i expected uh, 130.5 mil gold which is only two mil short from what the uh, ge tracker said when we just price checked everything but after selling everything this is what we got which is still like I said pretty good we did spend about 176 mil this week so we only need to make another about 46 million gold which is quite a lot uh, from hard caskets so let's go ahead and get on to the opening this week and we will see if we can make that much money back
But before we get into the casket openings, let's go ahead and talk about the old school wiki page and what it says about the nature, magpies, and hard caskets this week. If we take it to the old school wiki page, it does currently say that opening a magpie impling jar gives about 14,885 gold worth of loot on average, and you'll lose about 5,000 gold just to receive a hard clue. However, this does not include the loot from hard clue caskets themselves. I like to show these numbers every week just to show you guys how often these prices can change. And if we take a look at the wiki page for nature impling jars, it currently shows opening nature impling jars give about 2,262 gold worth of loot on average and you lose about 1597 gold just to get a hard clue again this does not include the loot from hard clue caskets just yet when we take a look at the hard clue loot table it shows that currently on average hard clues are worth about 155,821 gold and again this also does not include the loot received from opening master caskets because I haven't opened them yet and I don't plan on opening those until I reach 500 okay now we can get into the clue casket open this week. So today marks 150 days that I've been collecting clues. I don't know why I sound too excited about that. It's a, it's a long time to only do clues, but I thought it might be interesting to you guys to show you exactly everything that I've earned so far from not only hard clues, but from medium caskets as well when I was opening those. So real quick, just to show you guys my current ranks and everything like that, currently I am ranked number 71 total total with 9,445 clues opened, 5,000 of those being medium, 4,406 being hard caskets, only 38 elites, and we don't talk about the one master casket that I accidentally opened up several months ago while I was streaming. We don't talk about that. But anyways, I thought it would be cool to show you guys the loot. Feel free to pause the video at any time because this is going to kind of go pretty quickly and I don't want to pause for every single item. So taking a look at the hard caskets. Caskets. The loot tracker only shows 4,370, but that's because some of them that I opened, Rune Light didn't track. So don't know why, but uh, you know, here's the loot either way 12,000 purple sweets, a whole bunch of rune items, a lot of the God Wars items, and if you can look real close, you do see the Third Age hat, and we also got the Third Age range coif, which are, you know, arguably not the most expensive nor sought after Third Age items 
items, but it was still cool to see those third items, you know, come in. It's pretty cool to see. And then, of course, a whole bunch of regular loot as well. We're almost done with the collection log for the hard clues. Really, we're only missing the Armored Dog God Dehyde Shield, but I mentioned that previously. They're kind of hard to get. Not as hard as Third Age or Gilded, but it's still going to take some time to potentially get that. But in total, the hard clues collected so far, we've received 659 million gold back. Obviously, that's not 100% profit because we did spend a lot of money on Impling Jars, but don't worry, I will be going over all of those numbers in the future of my 500 casket opening video. Taking a look at the medium clues, we've made over 1 billion gold. Obviously, a lot of that came from the 25 Ranger Boots that we've collected, the 6.3 thousand Purple Sweets, and then every other varying item, which, is, you know, still looks pretty cool. We've completed the medium collection log. I think we completed it around... 2.1, 2.2 thousand, and then we just kept going after that. But in total, it looks like we've gotten back about 1.7 billion gold from these two clue tiers combined. And again, like I said, I will be going over the specific numbers in my Master Casket video, where I go over how much money I spent on every single Impling Jar ever, and see how much profit we make after that. But I thought that would be cool. I figured some of you guys might be interested in, uh, you know, seeing all the loot from the hard caskets and medium clues so there you go hope you like that so taking a look at the collection log we are now at 4406 hard clues completed which is pretty cool i never thought i'd actually get this high ever before especially you know start be like before i started this goal but uh no third age no new gilded which is kind of unfortunate but expected because those two are obviously mega rare again jagex is planning on doing an update in the future where they're going to put the third age and the gilded into their own separate uh collection log tab over there so eventually i will actually be able to complete the hard clue collection log easier so feel free to stop at any time however i do have basically everything except for the armadillo dehyde shield that is the last thing that i need unfortunately we have duplicate bando shields guthix and sarah shields which is kind of unfortunate could have been done with the hard log already but it's all right i feel like eventually if i keep doing clues i will eventually get that checked off and then i can complete the hard clue collection log but let's go ahead take a look at the fun stuff which is all the rewards that we received from opening the 290 91 caskets this week and as you can see we are now at 400 i was gonna say 500 but we are now at 455 master caskets which is awesome we have a bunch of purple sweets from all the clues that we've opened up since the start of this grind all the teleports and obviously the loot down here is everything that we received this week if it's not filled out that means i didn't get it this week and uh we got a pretty good amount of things uh worth some money a lot of the clues i feel like this week were a little bit more than average so feel free to pause at any time like i said and i'm gonna go ahead and sell all this loot and we'll get back to you here in just a moment. So after selling all of the hard casket loot, we ended up getting about 29.5 million gold. And then when we add all the purple sweets and the teleports to it, we ended up making about 41 million gold this week from the hard caskets from 291 of them, uh, which is not too bad. So when we add the gold after selling all the magpie and nature impling loot, we get about 171.5 million gold gold this week so unfortunately we lost about 5.1 million gold total however again just to mention it i have not opened any of the master caskets uh, that we have earned at all so after we open those up in a future video i'm sure we'll make all of this money back so not a bad week we we didn't lose as much as the last two weeks so pretty happy with that so in total this week, we gained about 13 Master Clue Caskets for a total amount of 445. I'm trying to do my best not to click them, so I'm keeping my, my mouse cursor away from them. Um, but we didn't receive as many as I had hoped, uh, but seeing the number get closer and closer each week to 500 is always good. I'm going to try my best this upcoming week uh, for you guys to hopefully uh, get a lot more than we did this week. Hopefully the imp 
sampling prices improve, but my goal is to get at least 20 master clues next week, but of course that's all up to RNG. But if you look at this master casket stack, we only need 45 more masters to go, and I hope that you guys keep tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, and of course, subscribe for more.